I found a Ferenti. Found a Ferenti. He's driving it seriously. He didn't even look at me. I'm Wasting Firebird. We are on our way to Lakes Beach. Surf, sand, and cars. Somewhere north of Sydney. I'm gonna need you all to do me a favor. I need you to take three leaps of faith for me. The first leap of faith is that you need to trust that at least some of the sensory data that is coming into your brain is at least somewhat representative of reality. Second leap of faith is I need you to assume that I exist and other humans exist. And the third leap of faith is I need you to assume that the laws of physics and chemistry aren't gonna change from one moment to the next, at least not in any significant ways. If we make those assumptions together, we should be able to have a pretty good time today. We've never been to this show before, and it's a little bigger than I expected. I'm finding the stripes on this Camaro very appealing. I don't know if that was a factory option. I don't think it was. It looks sort of like a more of a dealer option kind of stripe, but it's gorgeous. I promise today I will not say anything about any Chryslers or any panel vans. <laughs> We've just had several videos about Chryslers and panel vans lately. No matter how amazing the Chrysler is, no matter how amazing the panel van is, I will not say anything. I love these 70s Monaros. I know if a lot of people would consider it probably not the peak of the Monaro, but I think for me it is. <laughs> They're so cool. God, look at this green on this falcon and orange stripes. This is one of those times where I'm going to say, I don't think that's a stock color. And then someone's going to tell me, in fact, it is. If this is a stock color, kudos to Ford. That's amazing. It, all hail the great <laughs> Peter. All hail the great Peter. Tell them what's up. I have another Patreon 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 patron besides Peter now. The other patron has chosen to remain anonymous. If you want me to acknowledge you, other patron, I will do so. And I will do a little one second video, or if you want to give me a one second video, we'll do it. Support the channel. But for now, for now, Peter is the is the one wholly official acknowledged patron. I was kind of hoping to be on the beach, but I guess the beach is right. Yeah, just over here. Okay, we'll check out the beach later then. Okay, and I'll, I'll say something profound on the beach. <laughs> I made it for you. You made this for oh, made like oh, it. that's right. You were telling me that you oh, make things. I just did it quickly on the laser for you. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So this is like acrylic, and then it's laser. I just did it quickly. Okay, so it's laser cut. Laser cut and etched. And then laser etched. Yeah. And then so I like different strength of laser beams. Yeah. So like if a really strong beam would cut yep. and then a weaker beam would weaker beam etch. Just like a printer almost. Yeah, it just fires when it needs to and then yeah, you can go. The, the more power you go, the deeper you go. Leave the paper on while you etch it and then just paint it. So there's, the paper so there's paper on here initially yep. and then the laser etches through the yep. paper? That's right. Okay, so then it lets you paint the uh, etched part. Yeah, just build paper off. Yeah, that's that super cool. <laughs> you know what I think we should do though? Stick it on the hood of the Jimny. Yeah. Uh, sorry guys, it's my favorite Ford Falcon. You're thinking it's because he doesn't know. Well, I know what it looks like. I can tell you that. It's my favorite Falcon. It's a Pontiac. We learned about these a couple weeks ago. So it's a Pontiac, but it has Holden wheels on it. Has a Holden badge on the back. There were some Pontiacs that came from the factory, badged as Pontiacs, and sold in Australia. So they had Pontiac wagons and utes that were sold in Australia that we didn't get in the US. We just got the sedans as the 
GTOs and the G8s. Matt Skelly thought that I would have no comment on the massive motor that was packed inside this Mercedes sedan that drove by. Matt Skelly, when I see a Mercedes sedan drive by with a massive motor that is so loud I have to plug my ears, I may have a comment, just, 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 just so you know in the future. My comment on that sedan is, I actually have no comment, I don't know what to say. You're right, Matt Skelly, I have no comment, but I wanted to tell the camera that I have no comment. I'm not saying it's bad, it's good, it's very good. I just have no comment. I love the Firebird jacket. <laughs> Matt Skelly, I think you have something to say about the new Corvette. No! Yeah. No, and she's like, no, give me, no, hey, give me, give me, no, give me that mic. No, it grunts my gears. Look at this new Corvette over here. I wonder what comments people might have when they see this new Corvette. They would say, oh, that's very cool. I like everything about it. Except all the buttons. Look at all these buttons. Hang on, let's count how many buttons there are. There's like 20 buttons on this thing. There's 20 buttons on this bloody thing. There's 20 buttons. Where's my air conditioner? I don't know. I don't know. I would have to feel for it. Right now I can't feel for One, it. One, two, all the three. Are identical. One, two. Oh yeah, it's up to count them. It's up to go. Our AC is number 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you better hope you got it right. They say the car show is ending shortly. We can't get up that early. Come on. I get up with the cockatoos. I feed the cockatoos. I do not get up before that time. They get up at like 6.30. No, no, no vans. I will not speak of vans. Cut, cut. Would you look at the paint job on this, this car, this car whose name shall not be spoken. Oh my goodness, it's, uh, it's a, it, it's like a plum colored. What are you, what are you shooting that for, man? Is it, man, what, are you shooting, Mad Skelly? Yeah. What is this? I don't know. It's a Holden um, Captiva Active. It has a, some sort of a banner on it. I guess that's a good, it's 2017. This would have been the end of Holden, pretty much. Maybe it's the last Holden ever manufactured. We love you, Holden. And we love you, meat pies and kangaroos and football, football. football. That's another good one. It's a motorbike that seats three, possibly four. And I think some people who are not into cars or bikes might not realize this, but these are made out of Volkswagen Beetles. You take a Volkswagen Beetle and then you chop off the front of it and you stick a motorbike front on the front of it. It's a Toyota Celica. It's Americans say Celica. Australians say Celica. Sarah Antoon combines them and says, Celica. Celica, 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 Celica. She's working on a Celica. It's very cool. That's closer to the uh, generation that Sarah is working on. So I'm willing to tell you what YouTube channels I watch. I watch regular car reviews. I watch. Sarah Entune, I watch Mighty Car Mods, I watch Jay Leno's Garage. You might be wondering, who do they watch? Well, they watch me, of course. Regular car reviews. I told him about my channel because he is planning a trip to Australia. And I said, you want to stay with me, whatever, cool. I got a little YouTube channel myself, you know. I think he checked out my channel because in one of his recent videos, he addressed my two word philosophy I'm Wasteland Firebird, reminding you to create value. And whatever value we have, we create it.
It wasn't bestowed upon us from on high. We're creating the value for the GR Corolla. I think he got that from me. I see you, Mr. Regular. If you're watching me, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I know, right? If you ever see me at a car show, do what, the, do what that guy did. Run up to me and act like an idiot because it makes for much better television. And yes, I know we're not on television. Tune in next time. Don't, don't touch that dial, kids. I'll see you at 5 p.m. on Sunday unless you watch it some other time. And now, a word from our sponsor. What the hell are these things? Simca Boliku. Zephyr. Oh. Some kind of customized Corvette looking thing here. Holden Parent. No, this is not a Corvette. Oh my goodness, this is an extremely special car. This is an Australian only custom Corvette like fiberglass thing. I don't know anything about these other than I'm supposed to find one. Parenti? Wow, it's better looking than a Corvette. I gave the same one I've seen for months. No, I'm excited. I don't know much about them though. I've never seen, I've never, I've, I've, I'm a Holden person, I've had Holden's in my life, I've never seen one name ever. This is like the Australian Corvette. It's not a Corvette, but it looks like one. It's, it's been a Holden, I never this body They're made in Melbourne. They only made a few of them. Super rare car. They got one of them in Fury Road. Americans are watching Fury Road like, cool Corvette. It's like, you're not paying enough attention. I got a war boy! Says he was on the war raid! You know who owns this one? Yeah, me. That's you? Yeah. I, I found I, you! I can tell you're pretty impressed with it. I'm extremely impressed with it, and I assume that I should be, right? How many of these were made? Um, a hundred. It's not a Corvette, is it? Oh, no. Definitely not a Corvette. Definitely a Holden. And so what was it based on? What what platform? It's on a, um, HQ. One tonner Chevy. One tonner? One tonner. Yeah. Okay, so it's based on a Ute, like a pickup truck kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. That's amazing. You didn't win a trophy. Didn't win a trophy? Yay. It wins my trophy. Is this the color scheme it came with from yeah, the that's, factory? That's the original color. Yes, thank you thank so you. much, because I've been looking for one of these. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Wait, is that a is that a van? I can't I'm not allowed to Oh, okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna no no I'm not gonna say anything. Not gonna say anything. Not we He's don't care. Freaking out. We don't care about vans. He's freaking out. I have a monopod now, he can't read. We don't care about vans. Holden Statesman Caprice. Now I say that emissions controls were not as a serious concern in Australia as they were in the US in the mid to late 70s, 80s, which is true, but they were still a concern. Australia did have some increasing emissions regulations and it was slowing the cars down. So there was a little bit of a malaise era in Australia. It just wasn't as bad as it was in the United States. But in the malaise era, they got away from performance and the only thing they could offer to distinguish themselves was some sort of luxury. So they put either leather or fake leather seats in and they put like a hood ornament on the, the hood and sometimes there would be like some chrome details and stuff. And it gave you sort of this 70s luxury, which maybe wasn't that luxurious. The, the car would drive like a boat. And so we went from having muscle cars to having these luxury boats. And you can see a little bit of that going on here. Australia did have a little bit of the luxury boat aesthetic, but the big Luxo barges that you see in the US from the late 70s, that was because you couldn't make performance cars anymore, so they just didn't know what else to do. Nissan Silvia Spec S. Yeah, we sort of got the Sylvia in the U.S., but I mean, it never looked like this. 
They got better Sylvia's in other places. This means roll camera. If you see me doing this, it means roll camera, Mads Gilly. Roll camera! Look at the Honda City over here. You could get these with a little scooter in the back. One of the Moto Compo briefcase scooters. Honda City Turbo. Buckles. Yeah, they're they're rare. I have seen one before. Two of them actually. There's a couple that owned two of them, and they were like in their 90s. 1955 and 1956 Buckle Coupe, Coupe GT. Is that yours? Is this your car? Both of them. Both of them. You. Bill Buckle's still alive though. Is he? He is. He runs a. He, well, I don't know if he runs it, but he still he still has dealerships named after him in the Sydney area. Wow. Yeah. I guess he doesn't run them anymore. But I thought he would have died years ago. Last I heard, he's still alive. You guys can check, fact check me on that. This seems to happen to me all the time, though. It's I, I if I don't see a car, suddenly I see two of them. <laughs> happened to you guys too. Yes. Bill Buckle, if you're watching, I, I'd like to talk to you. Let's let's do an interview. Give, give me a call. Bill Buckle passed away the week before last. Yeah, yeah. We love you, Bill Buckle. We miss you already. Thank you for what you gave to this world. to meet him? Yeah, 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 well, yeah, yeah, but, uh, years. yeah, because of the cars, he got an interest back in his cars and he laid a part of the so we were quite involved, we get together a couple of times a year and things like that, we, so. Oh, you did oh, get, yeah, you yeah, did well, get to meet him? Very good, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, we used to come up to Davis Town, where we have what they call the puck puck we got it down there, uh -huh. that we haven't had for four years with COVID and wet weather and that's all along the waterfront, and he used to come up to that all the time, and he, couple of times, he had it, but still got a buckle down there, and he used to bring that up with the car, too. Yeah. There never was, and there never will be, another century like the 20th. And all the great cars and all the great people of the 20th century are slowly leaving us. It's important for us to try and preserve that history. In the 20th century, we came to take progress for granted. Every decade was different from every decade before it. There was a new genre of music every decade. There were new inventions, new discoveries, new achievements. The big problem is there was all low-hanging fruit, so it's a lot harder to achieve things nowadays. It's harder to discover things nowadays. It's hard to come up with a new car design that looks any different from every other car design. Things are absolutely 
unequivocally better now. But everything is a lot more boring. And it was people like Bill Buckle who made the 20th century what it was. Thanks, Bill. This video is for you, Bill. We love you. The first car video I did on this channel, it went viral on Reddit. People on Reddit said, it seems like this guy has a high base level of happiness. I didn't really like that way of putting it. They act like I was just born this way. It takes work to be happy. I've been depressed. I've been anxious. Not anymore. Sure, maybe some people got some chemistry. They got to deal with that chemistry. Maybe they take some pills. If you've got to do that, that's fine. That's not what I do, though. First thing you got to do is you got to figure out what you believe. You got to figure out what matters. You have to have a coherent philosophy of life. And if you got the right philosophy, happiness just comes naturally. I got a whole coherent philosophy. I'll tell you the whole thing if you want to hear it someday. Take a while though. I don't think you think you turn off the video halfway through. I'll just give you little bits here and there. I'm wasting Firebird. Reminding you to create value. Create value for people that pay you. That's work. Great value for people that don't pay you. It's kindness. Great value for people you like. It's friendship. Great value for people you don't like. That's self-preservation. And most of all, create value for yourself. That's happiness. Thank you for inviting me into your home or onto your portable device or onto your tube television with a little dial on it and the little knob to adjust the volume. Oh yeah, you gotta adjust the vertical hold, kids. If the, if the picture starts doing this, do the vertical hold. Have a good night.